It's time to celebrate Western New York with some art and a lesson. That's what's happening at the Buffalo Zoo and at the Aquarium of Niagara. Kevin O'Neill has more on the message and the installation that is highlighting the danger of plastic pollution. It's our most Buffalo story of the day. Ah, oh, look at this. Gorgeous. Man, we are so blessed in Western New York to be surrounded by so much beautiful water. And it's our responsibility to keep it clean. And there are steps you can take today to help. That's the message from two new works of art, one at the Buffalo Zoo, one at the Aquarium of Niagara. A grant from NOAA allowed Buffalo Niagara Waterkeeper to commission two artists to create these thought-provoking pieces. And not only did they provide the funding, they provided the medium to work with. So Buffalo Niagara Waterkeeper has always done volunteer community-based cleanups since we started as an organization 30 years ago. So we're always picking up litter and trash from our local waterways. And plastic is one of those main items we're always seeing. Yep, these works of art are created from plastic and not new plastic plastic trash collected in and around Western New York lakes, rivers, and creeks. It's washed and sorted, and its durability is the issue. And then it looks brand new. Wow. That's the whole problem with plastic. Every piece of plastic that's ever been put on the earth is still here. That's artist Elizabeth Leader, whose plastic muskie hangs at the zoo. It was more labor intensive than she planned because four different glues failed her. So each piece is actually drilled and screwed in. So that took a long time. At the Aquarium of Niagara, artist Alex Oltmer debuted an unnatural diet, portraying fish made from covered plastic. Buffalo Niagara Waterkeeper's Liz Cute asks us to think twice before grabbing that plastic bottle of popper water. Yeah, we've all done it. But all of those single-use items that are convenient in the moment are not convenient long-term for the health of our, our waterways and our resources. More info on the art and the ways you can help our plastic problem at bnwaterkeeper.org. Celebrating Western New York, I'm Kevin O'Neill, Channel 2 News.